Haley Arsenault is the youngest American to orbit Earth, a cancer survivor, a physician's assistant, and now she's an author. After her trip to space, she's sharing her journey with the world in a new book, Wild Ride. Our Will Gann spoke to her about the new version for kids. This school year, Haley Arsenault is taking students on the field trip of a lifetime. Hey, it's Haley from Orbit, about 380 kilometers above the Earth. Inviting them to blast off with the front row seat to history. Hey. Haley, the youngest American to orbit the Earth, sharing her story in Wild Ride, my journey from cancer kid to astronaut. Congratulations. Wild Ride is out, and it's a special edition adapted for young readers. Why did you want to adapt your story for young readers? I just wanted to give them a source of hope and some joy. And so this adapted version of Wild Ride, it's a fun space book, but also it's a story of hope. Hope has always been Haley's North Star, now working as a physician assistant at St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital, and when she was a patient fighting cancer there at just 10 years old. What do you wish you knew at that age? I would tell my younger self that it's going to be okay. I wouldn't tell her that she will one day go to space. Why not? I wouldn't ruin the surprise. <laughs> I think the beauty of life is that you don't know it's going to happen. And that is why on your most difficult days, you have to keep that hope alive that there will be better days. And those days to come will be better than you could even imagine. I never could have imagined I would become an astronaut go to space, and that's just been what's so fun about life. Haley says she's thrilled her story is now in the hands of younger readers. When I talk to kids about my space experience, I love their questions because, of course, they all want to know if I saw aliens. Speaking of hard-hitting questions, a rocket ship rapid-fire round worthy of our intergalactic guest. Haley's Guide to the Galaxy. Ooh, I'm loving this already. And away we go. The best snack in space. M&M's. Ooh, that was quick. Why M&M's? Because we all, we had this big food tasting day where we got to pick all our space foods, and all four of us put M&M's. We would play with it more than we probably ate it, but we would um, toss it to each other, and I thought it'd be really fun to pretend I was Mrs. Pac-Man and just go hop, hop, hop. <laughs> But getting to float all around the capsule chasing these M&Ms is one of the highlights of my trip to space for me. And there was one that went missing, and I said, don't tell us SpaceX. They ended up finding it when we got back to Earth. <laughs> oh, my God. Is it kind of a letdown now to eat M&Ms with gravity? With gravity? Involved? Oh, yeah. It's not the same. Yeah. <laughs> Scariest part of a trip to space? We had an alarm go off when we were in orbit. And it was one of, we had three different levels of severity of alarms. This was the most serious. And, um, and there was a moment I didn't know how things would go. But luckily, it was a false alarm. But we had to work through that. The most fun part of weightlessness in space? Doing flips. I was constantly upside down because it feels the same as being right side up. And I was like, well, why would I be right side up <laughs> if I can be upside down? Something you would not try again in space? Throwing away garbage. Because every time we would open the garbage bag, trash would float out. And so it was like defeating the purpose. What is your favorite joke about space? Oh my goodness, when we talk to the St. Jude patients from space, one of the kids asked us, are there cows on the moon? And we just fell out. You aced it, Haley's Guide to the Galaxy, there it is. When there are young people who pick up this book and read your story, what do you hope that they take away from Wild Ride? I hope they enjoy it. It's a fun book about adventure and about space travel, but I hope that as they read it, they are filled with this belief that they can dream big dreams because those big dreams can come true. And I lived that and I wanted to share that with them. And I also hope that by reading my story, when they go through tough times, they know the importance of holding on to hope to get through that. And Will joins me now with more on this. Will, what else did you learn about her trip to space? So in addition to throwing away garbage, which was unexpectedly hard, she said that brushing your teeth in outer space is a real challenge because you have to swallow the toothpaste. Oh. If you spit it out, it would just start floating all around oh, and yeah, nobody wants that. that. Yeah, right? And Haley has a lot of hair, which of course, after surviving cancer, she's very proud of. But in outer space, she said it was everywhere. She was picking it off of her teammates' 
you know, uniforms and everything. <laughs> so that was really cool. But the real takeaway, of course, from Wild Ride is that beautiful message of hope and of inspiration. And I just think that kids in schools are going to really, really love this book and learn a lot from it. I certainly did. What a great story. Well, Gans, thank you. Thank and you. both versions of Wild Ride are out now. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.